anything this is where the margarita actually came from? Not exactly. However, I can't exactly tell you where it came from. There's six dominant stories on the issue. And here at The Lush Life, this is where bartending and history kind of intersect. You take a few versions of something and then you mix up your own. Here's ours. In 1948, Margarita Samez, a Mexican socialite, is hosting her dear jet-setting pals, the Hilton Children. Tommy and Nikki are busy establishing the lifestyle of mindlessly self-indulgent splendor that Paris would be televising 60 years in the future. After drinking their friend Margarita out of everything but tequila and Cointreau, she uses these leftovers to make a drink they suggest she names after herself. After all, it did work for their dad and his hotels. Now the year is 1943, and Vernon Underwood has just bought the U.S. distribution rights to a strange and questionably marketable spirit, Jose Cuervo Tequila. Unsure of the magic beans he just bought south of the border, he goes north to the famed Tail of the Cock Bar, where he asks a young bartender if he can politely fashion him a drink utilizing his new Latino potable. With all the assurance of number five pointing to Centerfield and swinging away, the young man responds with, there might be something I can whip up for you. In 1938 or 39, Carlos Danny Herrera was tending bar in a Baja California roadhouse when Zigfield Follies beauty Marjorie King orders a magnolia. After explaining her alcohol allergy to everything but tequila, not knowing the magnolia's recipe, Danny sets out to make something with tequila for his famous customer. It's okay, Marjorie. It's just tequila in there. Little did he know his new cocktail would be fueling young party slut starlets from Marilyn Monroe to Tara Reid to Lindsay Lohan for ages to come.